Okay, so we're waiting here for the night to end so we can go and uh, and get some stuff going. I think I'm going to get brave, guys. I think I'm going to go like this. I'm going to send everybody up here, uh, actually right here, to above ground, which is kind of spooky, scary. You're not really supposed to do it at nighttime. You're supposed to be scared. What up, peeps? And thanks for coming to hang out with me, playing some more Empires of the Undergrowth. If at any time you find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, peeps, don't forget to subscribe as well. In the last episode, we started, uh, what are we, two episode, or a mission 2.1? Uh, we got in here and realized, oh my lord, it's going to take an extremely long time. That was a long video last time. Thank you guys very much for all your support in that video. Uh, it was spectacular. I'm recording this one, of course, back to back. Hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm having a great day. I don't even remember if I said it, but there are intruders in. Ah, uh, here we go. So yeah, we're just we're we're in it to win it. We're just sending everything in here just to, to clean up inside the log. I pulled everybody in from the nighttime because the hermit crabs and these new spider deals are becoming a problem. Uh, and I figured while we're here, we'll just uh, we'll clean the log out, and then after we've got the log cleaned out. Uh, depending on how much food we have, I might get a little more aggressive uh, with my exploration kind of deal. But if at any time, I think I said it, if you find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, peeps, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more hot ant action. More wolf spiders have found the nest. Uh, see, there you go. See, wolf spiders are coming into the nest. I don't know how or why or what. There was one that was right there. He didn't make it very far. But uh, I'm actually not super, uh, super worried about it. Everything seems to be just completely getting obliterated by our massive ant army. As you check it out right now, we got 84 or 85 worker deals, 21 soldier deals, and 25 squirter deals, wood ants, uh, that are getting, giving everybody the butt squirts if you check it out. Uh, they just come in here, and there they go. They're just squirting they're everything right to pieces. In the nest. And ladies and gentle peeps, they are just, they're ripping through absolutely everything. It's incredible. And then, yeah, we just have a massive amount of food gathering deals. So, a uh, thousand food. I think we're doing good. I'd kind of like to have more squirter deals. Uh, I think they are very strong, like extremely strong. Oh, wow, we're going to have, like, a bunch. Let's go like that. Like, a whole whack of them. There we go. And then should we get a couple more of our soldier deals? Because they're super tough and powerful and that kind of stuff. Uh, and let's see if we can upgrade any more of our regular deals. And we can. All to level 2. I think that's just about everybody to level 2 at this point. And then I heard something about when these guys get to level 3, their squirter deals slow people down. Uh, so 1s and 2s and 3s. Everybody clear off and head back. 2s, clear out. Okay, so we're waiting here for the night to end so we can go and, uh, and get some stuff going. I think I'm going to get brave, guys. I think I'm going to go like this. I'm going to send everybody up here, uh, actually right here, to above ground which is kind of spooky scary you're not really supposed to do it at nighttime you're supposed to be scared uh but i think we have just a huge amount of ants and i'm like a huge amount of ants a really good amount of food i'm not scared at all which is uh usually a bad sign when you're playing a game like this and you just get a little too comfortable uh, but i am feeling extremely comfortable so much so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna watch all As of these the sun rises over oh here they day. come the Here tide comes. recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again, the so, harvest must continue. So we survived two nights. Uh, I want to try and get... Uh, here, let's get over here and get this, too. I want to try and pick up all this food. All right, do we have another fish? Is there another fish that showed up? There was a fish that showed up last time, and I kind of let it get away from me. Okay, first thing I want to do... Um, this is going to seem counterintuitive, but this is a rival ant colony over here. 
And I want to send my, my deals over here like this. This needs to happen fast. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending these guys down here right away. So I'm going to get my warrior deals over here to start guarding this food to stop the other ant colony from getting it. And I actually should send them all right up here. Okay, here we go. So what do we got here? This is just the rival ants wandering around. These are these tiger beetle things which we've just been completely obliterating. Alright, here comes our ant deals. These should be our squirter deals. Yeah, they're just gonna dive bomb everything here. And these guys aren't scared to get involved either. And this massive line of 85 worker deals is just gonna come down here. And we are just going to streamline and very quickly and efficiently come in here and grab all of the food on this level. While our workers and our warriors up here... Uh, they're just, they're like I said, they're just, they're dominating everything. I feel like we have enough ants at this point. I think it's time to start leveling up quantity, or quality rather than quantity. So there you go. That's everything down there on this side all gathered up. Now we'll head up on this side, and then we're just going to back and forth the whole way around. All right, so what do we have going on here? A little, little fight, a uh, little more of a fight going on here. Our regular dudes are over here. They're gathering some stuff up. There apparently was a little bit of a scuffle going on here. Man, I just don't get it. These guys just don't get it. We're uh, we're super powerful. We're incredible and amazing. And, uh, and I just don't think anybody has any chance to become better than us or overtake us. Yeah, so we're just going to grab this food and actually I can shut that off. Okay, so now we're going to send everybody down here. Now let's go this way first. And I'm going to put our number twos up here, and I'm actually going to send the number threes down here to take care of this tiger beetle. I want our number ones to gather all this food. And here they come. And they're going to swap places with our number twos that are going to come up here and guard. Here they come. Just like that. So they've got everything up there. Now I'm going to send them down here to gather everything down here. It's a, it's a, it's you know a back and forth kind of game. Happy Wednesday, guys. Happy Hump Day, by the way. I hope you guys are all having fun. I'm uh, I'm unsure as to whether or not there's going to be a stream this evening. And the reason for that is uh, I'm probably. Up on my roof right now. Oh no, right now I'd be at work. So I'm working right now. But uh, I, if it's a nice day today in the area, I'm going to have to get up on the roof to try and get a little more of that shingling done. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to that stuff. So I'm just working away at it the best I can. Uh, and it's taking a long time. It's a it's a big deal. It's a, it's a lot. There's a lot to do up there. And I am not the, uh, the most working inclined individual. Okay, so let's send these guys up here to grab all this stuff. These guys are going to come down here and annihilate all that stuff. Our warriors are still just doing their thing on their way up to guard that ant nest. Yeah, see, this is just this is systematic obliteration of this level. And we're, we're about to max out on food, so I'm actually going to have to upgrade some more guys. Let's, uh, let's get these guys upgraded. Let's start working on this. Let's just spend it all. Let's just spend it all, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? There, every, all of our squirter deals are now level twos. All right, here they come. Well, I hope they don't do that. I hope, you know, I'd like them to. Uh, here we go. This, this is more what I was hoping for. Yeah, see, that's that's just it. It's game over. Okay, so now that that's done, let's send our uh, our guys where? Where do they need to be? Let's send them... There's only a little tiny bit of food there. Let's send them here. And our number ones are here. Everything's cleaned out. Let's grab everything from down here. And that's it, guys. That's, the, like I said, systematic obliteration of the level. Um, 
Guys, can you come over here real fast? There you go. So yeah, systematic obliteration. And the tide hasn't even started to rise yet. We've got the log cleared out. We've got all this stuff done. I wonder if there's a way to trigger the night event for, uh, faster. Uh, these guys actually don't even need to be here anymore. I'm just going to send them uh, here with these guys. Here come these guys. They just come in and make fast work in this little pile of food here. And it's uh, there's the other funny thing. It's not really a little pile of food. It's a it's a good sized pile of food. It's just we have so many ants. It just doesn't matter anymore. And that's it. So we'll get rid of this tiger beetle. These worker deals will gather the that huge guy up. The tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. It sure it is. Cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. Not anymore. We're uh, we're too incredible and amazing. So I'm gonna send our, uh, our our regular deals and our squirter deals down here to take care of this guy. Right here, and I want you to keep going there. So we're just gonna check it out. Oh yeah, they climb on top of him and start biting. And and he's done. Ladies and gentle peeps, we've done it. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Okay, so these ones haven't been upgraded yet. Let's get these guys. Like so. And that's it. I mean, we have gathered up every... I'm going to pull everybody back. Everybody come on inside. There's no reason to be outside anymore. We've gotten everything. We have cleared out the entire beach. The tide just came up and wiped them out. These ants are on their way. That means that's that's signaling to us that night is about to begin, which is great. So let's get everybody back inside. There's no reason for anybody to not be inside right now. And just let them roam around. I think we've got 800 food left. I don't really think there's a point in... Uh, leveling anything else up, I'm pretty sure we've got more than enough than what we need. I mean, we could go out and pick a fight with these ants for something to do. Is there a, a way to trigger the event quicker? No, I guess not. So, 92 ants. Is that what this is? 92 worker deals? Yeah, so there's 92. So that's 75 plus 7 for the royal, the royal worker deals. Uh... And then we've got 68 soldier deals, which is our 43 squirters and 25 shield deals. We've got just a massive army of ants, guys. That's what, 160 ants? We've got 160 ants. And here we go, the tide rising, rising again. Quickly. So this will be this, must head for higher this second level that'll get wiped out. And then there's only this third level, and then it's nighttime. And I mean, just check out what's going on inside here. It's, it's a full-on ant colony, guys. Almost like it's in a terrarium sitting in your room for you to observe. And here it goes. So up comes the water, and they're all flooded out. So we just have this last level to wait for. Let me grab a, a quick drink of delicious drink. Spectacular drink. Love it. Okay. I, it, I took a little awkward drink. It's actually dripping down my face a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, here we go. So, down in the comment section below, guys, why don't you hit me up with a comment as to how you think I should have proceeded differently? Because as it is right now, I actually don't think... There was a reason to do anything any differently. I think, like I said, we completely dominated. We were able to gather up food very quickly with our 85 deals. Plus, they're all level 2 now, I think is what we got them to. Level 2. Uh, most of them to level 2. Basically, all of them to level 2. And yeah, they uh, they just ran through and just... All, just the massive amount of volume the they were able to produce. Here we go. Point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Yeah, so we're going to see the end of all these ants now. And interestingly enough, I believe it's also this entrance into uh, this ant nest is going to be disappearing. Beneath the, so the tide. And I wonder if that's something that uh, 
that happens in real life. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys know if when the water comes up for ants on the beach and their their entrance gets flooded, does it just like seal up? Like there, it's gone, right? This is where they were coming in out of. Does it just seal up and once the tide comes down, then they're all set to go? Or how does that work? Let me know if you know, because I don't know. All right, so that's that. The tide is in. And soon, night will fall. So now we're, uh, we're As in... As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. Yeah, they sure do. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. You got it. And actually, one of the things I think I'm gonna do is, I've just been noticing, I don't see it... Let's try that. Just turn it up just a little bit more. I think that the volume was good in the last video. I probably should have watched it back before I recorded this one. Shh. Super streamer guy, uh, YouTube uh, person. Uh, okay, so I think what we're gonna do is, I think we might actually go on the offensive for this night. Like there's, yeah, I think we're gonna go on the offensive. So let's get this going. A wolf spider has found the nest. Ah, uh, that's a problem. I don't think he's gonna last though. An imminent danger. Yeah, see, they just, yeah, no, no problems. No problems. We're just coming out here, and like I said, I think we're going to pick a fight. Uh, here come all the wolf spiders. All oh, this might have been a mistake. We're going to find out real fast. Yeah, we're just picking a fight with everybody. Holy jumping. Uh, I think we might have picked enough of a fight. I still think we're winning, though. Oh, look at the big fella. Do we do we need more squirter deals? Is is that is that what's happening here? Oh, I think I think we're okay. I think we just completely wiped out all the hermit crabs. <laughs> like, almost, right? Wow. So, going on the offensive um, has proven to uh, to be not much of a of a challenge. We still have more food than when we started with the offensive. Uh, so, I'm going to assume we're just all powerful and invincible at this point. And I think we just go wipe everything out. Oh, we got somebody that, a uh, couple of guys that made their way inside the nest. I don't know how they did that, but they managed to do that. And uh, they don't seem to be too much of a problem either. Like I said, our food numbers are actually going up. Which they probably shouldn't. I'm just going to put the twos and threes together because they're just, they're going to be moving together anyway. Uh, I don't want them gathering food though. There's no reason for them to gather food. Oh, here we go. Let's uh, let's bring everybody back in here. More the, hermit crabs have found the nest. They're about to have a very very bad day, because they're going to be here, and all these ants are just going to start swarming in behind them. Yeah. So three hermit crabs, and all the squirting is happening. Yeah, we just we just dominated. Dominated. That's all I can say is you've been dominated. Let's, um... I mean, since the squirter deals are working out so well for us, I mean, why wouldn't we have more of them? Right? I mean, why wouldn't we have a whole bunch more? Can we get that guy before he gets away? Like, I want to fight him. He's, he's like a big hermit crab deal. Can we catch him? Oh, we got him. We got him. Here we go, team. This is a big hermit crab deal. Oh, he's got a big health bar, too. He's no match for us, though. That's a big hermit crab guy. We did it. And then there's another little one right behind him. Yeah, no, no problems. And just like that, if you check it out, we've cleared the map, ladies and gentle peeps. We have cleared the map. That's how incredible we are. As soon as they are finished gathering up all the food, I'm just going to release them. 
And that's it. We're just going to release them, let them go. They're going to all head back to the nest. I don't uh, I don't really know what else we can do. I think we uh, we probably should have gone with uh, a huge wolf oh. spider has found Wow, look color. at that. This one is a mother. Holy jump and look at them go. Have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. Well, as long as they don't get to the queen, I mean this this thing's about to have a bad day. Yeah, see it's game over for you. I think I think that's probably it. Is that it? That looks like it. I don't know what else to do. There was a spider that came into the nest. We've cleared the map. I've got a decent amount of food. I don't really want to upgrade anything more. I feel like we're in a good spot here. I don't know why my ants here in, in this level are red and in my, my main formicarium they're green. That's kind of a, kind of a weird thing to me, but who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? So what can we do? Is there anything else to do in the log? I mean, we may as well just empty it all, I guess. That, that's, that's a thing we could do, right? Empty the log. Of all harvestable tiles. I mean, why wouldn't you? I actually see the purpose for not doing that, because it causes corridors to be... Uh, to be formed inside the nest, so therefore when enemies come, they can't just walk freely wherever they want. They have to go in a certain direction or path that you that you can lead them into. Uh, but at this point, I, uh, I don't see any reason not to harvest everything. I think that's it. There's a couple, couple stragglers. There it is. Oh, we As did the ants it. grow in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Indeed. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Yep. Because we're awesome. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. And we have done it. Ladies and gentle peeps. We did it. Uh, what do we want? 95 royal jelly? I mean... Yes, please. It was a long level. Return to the Formicarium. That was a two-parter. Holy jump and look at the time. So that's uh, that's almost an entire... How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. So we got some bad deals, some Forma du Duclerders, uh, whatever they're called out here. Uh, let's just take them out. There we go. We've done it. And uh, I don't think we can actually gather up any of this food, which in my opinion is actually a bit of a problem. I think what we have to do is we have to uh, increase the size of our four carrium's food abilities here by a little bit. So let's get that done. So yeah, that was a, a long level, guys. That was So the entirety of the last episode, which was over 35 minutes... Uh, and then this episode, which is going to probably push close to 25 or more minutes. That's a lot, right? I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of gameplay for some ants. And I'm not upset. I'm, I'm quite, like I said, I'm quite enjoying this. Okay, there we go. So that's... Can we get everybody to uh, to that level where I need them to be, please? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're real close. And that should be it. So where does that put us? 6,800 food? Uh, even with all of that, that, that little bit of, or those upgrades there, I don't think we're going to be able to get any more. Uh, I think what we do is, so we've got 25 tanky deals. 
Are they? Uh, they are level threes. Yeah. So let's um, let's start talking about upgrading our next ant, which is the wood ant. And then there's another one called the leaf cutter, which I've never seen before. And then another one called the fire ant. Like I don't, I don't know. All right, let's talk about our wood ants. So let's go ahead and spend 150 royal jelly uh, to get those guys. And I just used the rapid fire ones, and I really like them. So we're going to take the rapid fire deals. Uh, and immediately we need to upgrade level two. And there's upgrade level... Th oh, we don't have enough. So we need 40 jelly for level three. And then we're going to need... Let's see, 80 royal jelly here. And 100. So that's 220 more royal jelly just to get these guys up to... Uh, the level where they have everything and we have so i'm gonna have to once again run some more missions but before that happens i think what we'll do is i will take on queen of the hill which is challenge 2.2 .2, uh just to see how it works out guys are level 2.2 .2. but i'll tell you what guys that is going to be it for today thanks very much for coming to hang out with me checking out the second part of uh what level 2.1 rising tide that was long dude um I hope you guys had a, a good time. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share the video around the vi internet as you see fit. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. GG's. We are incredible. And amazing.